Hi, my name is Frank and I'm an Orgo Tutor at Boston University and this video is going to be about product predictions. This is actually a really last minute video that I made because I ran out of time. I originally wanted to make a video of all the mechanisms out for you guys but I've just been really busy. But um, So this video is going to be perfect for you guys if you are on the test and you run out of time and you have some product prediction questions left. So they're basically like this. Um, on the test you probably won't see this right side. Um, but the gist of it is that in any uh, alchemy reaction that you guys learn, nothing's really going to change in your molecule other than the double bond. That's going to be gone after you're done with the reaction. Something else that you guys should know is that you can actually figure out the product from just the name of the reaction. So you take a look at what you have, right? And in this first reaction up here, all you, all you have is basically an alkene and HBr. And you only learned one reaction where you have HBr by himself, and that's hydrohalogenation. And the reason why it's called hydrohalogenation is because your reactant is basically just a hydrogen, hence the hydro part, and a halogen, bromine. And what you do is you basically add these two guys onto your molecule. So for most hydrohalogenation reactions, all that happens is basically hydrogen is going to get added on the less substituted side. So that's the side with less, uh, less carbons. So that's going to be right here. I'm just going to use a wedge for this one. And then bromine is going to be added onto the other side, but it's going to be opposite, so we're going to use dash. Okay? So that's going to be for halohydrogenation. This works for most of the time, so in case you're out of time, you have no choice, then just do this, okay? Alright, so the next one here. Uh, this kind of looks like before, right? We have uh, just, we have BR again, and it kind of looks like hydrohalogenation. But the reason why it's not hydrohalogenation is because you're missing that hydrogen here that made it a hydro uh, reaction. This one here, because you're only working with halogens, you use the reaction halogenation. And hence the name, just, just halogens. So same thing again, uh, your bromines still get added on. The only difference is that instead of the hydrogen, you have bromines. And that's it, okay? Something else you should keep in mind is that uh, for these two reactions, whatever you add on, they have to be on opposite sides, okay? I know this might not be so clear why right now, but when I get a chance and I make my mechanisms videos, once you take a look at that, it'll make a lot more sense, okay? So the next reaction we're going to look at is uh, when you have an alkene with bromine and water. And it kind of looks like the halogenation reaction we just did before. So you might just think, okay, why don't we just do this, right? But, but this water here makes that big of a difference. Because you have a water here, it's not a halogenation reaction anymore. It's actually a halohydrin. You can kind of think about it like um, halogens right here. So that's why the halo part's here. And hydrin, like hydrate, like water, hydrate. So that's why you have this here. Okay, so in a halohydrin reaction, what happens is your bromine is going to basically play the role of hydrogen in the hy hydrohalogenation reaction. And what I mean by that is that bromine is going to be added onto the less substituted group. And then, instead of water hopping on directly onto the molecule on the other side, what you actually get is alcohol. Okay? It's, you might think, like, why is it um, not water and why is it alcohol? Well, the reason behind that is because if you have water just hop on like that, then oxygen will have one, two, three bonds, and those three bonds makes makes it uh, have a positive charge, which, which destabilizes it, and that's not good. So you just have that alcohol there, okay? And next we're going to take a look at this reaction here. This is acid catalyzed hydration. If you look at your uh, reactants, right, it looks basically the same. You have your alkene, alkene, you have, um, okay, so you don't have your bromines anymore. Instead you have this H2SO4 and water, so that's still the same here. But th what this H2SO4 is basically just an acid. And sometimes your professors might use hydrochloric acid, HCl, H+, which is basically hydronium here. And the moment you see any of these and water, it has to be the acid catalyzed hydration re uh, reaction. And this reaction, right, that's the point we have. Um, <clears throat> the reason why we have acid in this name is because you need acid to start the reaction. It kind of activates your alkene for the reaction. And then hydration once again, basically adding on water. So you do exactly the same thing as before, but with one difference. 
Instead of throwing the bromine on the less substituted, so less substituted group, you're adding a hydrogen on the less substituted group instead. Kind of like the um, hydrohalogenation reaction over here. So hydrogen goes on here, and then you add in your alcohol group. Okay? All right, that's acid catalyzed hydration. Now, if you look at this one up here, acid catalyzed alkoxy addition, it works a lot like acid catalyzed hydration. You also first add on your hydrogen to the less substituted group, so the one plus carbons. And then you add on basically, you basically add on everything here minus the H. And then once again, it's going to be opposite wherever H is facing. So it's going to be O, CH2, CH3. Okay? All right, and then the last one here. This one um, most people have a lot of trouble with just because it's, it looks really complicated. It's hydration by hydroboration because you have so many rea uh, reactants here, you kind of freak out and think, like, what the heck is happening, right? So the trick to this one here, it's basically just um, acid catalyzed hydration, but the difference now is that your hydrogen, right? Let's see, your hydrogen, your hydrogen is going to be on the same side as an alcohol group. And that's basically it. So just, just in review, um, hydrohalogenation, you're adding a hydrogen on the less substituted side and bromine on the other side of the alkene, but it has to be opposite sides. So this can technically be a dash, and this would be a wedge in that case. Uh, halogenation, your reactant is just halogens, and you add them on opposite sides. Halohydrin, your reactants are your halogens and your water molecule, and you have your bromine and alcohol on opposite sides. Acid catalyzed hydration, you have your hydrogen on the less substituted side and alcohol on the other carbon opposite sides. And acid catalyzed alkoxy addition, you have hydrogen on the less substituted side, just like before, just like this one here, but this time you have whatever carbon chain here added on to the opposite side, okay? With the O, of course. Uh, and last thing, hydroboration, once again, the key difference between this one here and acid catalyzed hydration is just that the alcohol group is facing the same side as the H. So this can technically be a dash, and this would be a dash as well, okay? And um, yeah, so that's the gist of it. Use this if you, uh, if you run out of time, you actually have no time left, just because um, there are certain exceptions to this rule, and I will cover them in my mechanisms videos that I'm planning on making soon, but when you're out of time, you have nothing to lose, so, okay? So this is actually what I did when I first took Orgo and I ran out of time the night before to study. I basically just memorized uh, these, these uh, six tricks and also the same thing for uh, the other mechanisms. The other mechanisms like uh, osmolation, ozonolysis, they all follow a certain pattern. So if you really, really don't have any time to study, just memorize uh, where, where the molecules get added on and that'll help a lot, okay? Good luck, and um, I'm going to make those mechanism videos as soon as I can to help you guys out. Alright, good luck.